All right, so I now want to show you some features of PivotPal that make it faster and easier to work with your source data when you're building out your pivot tables. So if you remember, we were just investigating this blank down here and these eight rows that made up that blank. And to do that, we went over to the Data tab, and then we found the uh, Category field here and filtered for blanks. And basically, that's what we had to do to find those blank rows. Well, PivotPal has a feature that makes this a lot faster and easier. So I'm going to open the PivotPal window here. And basically, the PivotPal has this filter source button that will do all this for us with the click of a button. So I'm just going to select a cell in the values area. In this case, I'm going to select that 8. And then I'm going to click the filter source button. And that will automatically filter our... Uh, data source for the category of blank and you can see it's done that here and filtered for blanks and then showing us those eight rows so this will save you a lot of time when you're investigating your data especially if you have a pivot table like this it's a little more complex with more fields in it so let's say that we wanted to investigate this number here this 5114 which is a sales for Maria for beverages for the West region. So if I just click the filter source button now, that's filtered my source data for the category of beverages for salesperson Maria for the region of West. And it's also automatically selected the revenue column there. So we can tie out our number. Here's 5,114. And again, it's just basically applying those filters to the data set here. So we can see here's our filter for beverages. If we want to jump over to salesperson, select salesperson in the field list, hit the go to data button, and that'll take us over to the salesperson field. And again, it's showing us that it's applied that filter there.